They are first responders. The first to approach a suspect. The first to enter a crime scene. They should be uh, protected just as much as, as we are. A day for a police dog never ends. They are on call 24-7, seven days a week. And though their training is intensive, sometimes another line of protection is needed. That's where Vested Interest in Canines comes in. The nonprofit provides police dogs with stab and bulletproof vests. Just this year, 15 dogs that I'm aware of have been either injured or killed in the line of duty. So this is real. It does happen. Founder and animal lover Sandy Marcel began vesting canines as a volunteer in the year 2000. I saw a show on TV about 13 years ago about a Vietnam War dog named Rain and uh, it really piqued my interest to see what was happening here locally with the, the law enforcement agency. So Nine years later, invested interest in canines grew into a nationwide nonprofit. Over 450 dogs have received vests since 2009, and they have never turned a dog away. In fact, they have more funds for vests than they do dogs. Initially, we were surprised to hear that our challenge was to find more dogs for people, but people have been so supportive, um, whether it's corporate or private sponsors. So what we do is we have a team of volunteers that recruit dogs nationwide that help match up donors with dogs in need, and uh, that's been working really well for us. Their efforts directly impacted the Bristol County Sheriff Department. All six of their canines now wear a vest. To uh, be able to put that vest on him every day and bring him to work and know that he's safe. Um, these animals, they'll do anything for you. Ronnie is a loyal partner to Sergeant Paul Douglas. The two spent 16 weeks in Patrol Academy, working on everything from obedience to apprehension to tracking. To have them, I mean, they're very, very important. Um, they're, you know, they can find missing missing children, they can find, you know, maybe an elderly person that might have, that walked away from a facility. Tactically, you know, to go into a building, if somebody, you know, broke into a house, we can utilize them. Instead of using, you know, policemen or women, you know, we can use the dog to clear the house. Drugs, I mean, their, their noses are, you know, their olfactory system is 400 times stronger than ours. But purchasing these police dogs comes with a pretty big price tag, approximately $7,000. A vest is an additional 950. It's definitely costly to uh, to run a unit, but you know, with the help of VI Canine, you know, and and having vest, that's one less cost that we have to worry about. And at the end of the day, safety is paramount. It's their partner at work, and it's a member of their family at home. To know that you know they can come to work every day and and be safe. Well, that's your partner. You know, it's the best partner you'll ever have. They're loyal to you.